everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this two corner virus poncho. It is in size regular adult, and I used Red Heart Unforgettable Yarn in Sunrise for this poncho. To begin, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook that you're comfortable with, or that is recommended with the yarn you're using. A yarn needle is very handy as well. Today, I'm going to be using this. Karen Simply Soft, and it's just a worsted weight acrylic. I also wanted to show you that the poncho shown at the beginning, I used three skeins of the Red Heart Unforgettable, and it is 280 yards each. So I used three of these. You might want to grab four though, because this is all I had left after all of the rounds I wanted to do. I also didn't do a border on mine, and if you'd like to do a border, I highly recommend getting at least four skeins. You're going to work this poncho from the collar down. As it grows, you can make it as long as you like. You're going to begin the regular sized poncho with a chain of 102. So you're going to just create a slip knot grab your crochet hook and chain one two three four five continue with 102 chain and I will see you in just a minute after chaining 102 I went ahead and grabbed a stitch marker you can also use a piece of string but we're going to chain up two more from our 103 or 102, I'm sorry. One, two. And we're going to half double crochet into that third stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that third stitch, which is our 102nd stitch. And we're gonna yarn over once more and pull through all three loops on our hook for the half double crochet. Go ahead and take your stitch marker or your piece of string and place it into that stitch half double crochet into each stitch all the way down your chain. At the end, slip stitch to join to this first stitch. At the end of your half double crochet row, you want to kind of fold the work so that it's kind of wrong side facing like this, just so you have a continuous loop without any twists in it. You're going to slip stitch to that stitch that we marked with our stitch marker here. So I'm just grabbing my yarn and pulling through and then pulling through this loop on my hook. Now the virus pattern is four repeating rows. You're going to have your loopy row, your first double crochet row, your second double crochet row, and your double crochet chain one row. That will all make more sense as we go, but today I'm going to be doing four or eight of the rows with you. So I'm gonna be doing those four rows twice. The first row of our virus pattern is the loopy row. You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is a large loop. We're next going to skip two stitches. So two V's, one, two, and single crocheting into the third. So to single crochet, you're going to insert your hook into the stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. We're next going to do three small loops, or three, yes, three small loops. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, skipping two stitches, single crochet into the next, and we're going to do three of those. So that's one, chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet into the next, chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet into the next. So now we have a large loop 
and three small loops. We're going to do another large loop. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two stitches, single crochet into the next. Now we're going to do the three small loops again. One, two, three, skipping two, single crochet. Here's our second one, one, two, single crochet into the next. And our last one, chain three, skipping two, single crochet. Now we're going to do another large loop. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping two, single crocheting. Another set of three small loops. One, two, three. Skipping and single crochet. One, two, three. Skip two, single crochet. And our last one, two, three, skip two, single crochet. Now a large loop, one, two, three, four, five, skipping two and single crocheting. A set of three, one, two, three, skipping two. And our second one. And our third one. So now we have our first large loop. Then we have one, two, three large loops after that one. So we have a total of four large loops and three, six, nine, twelve small loops. Now we're going to do the other corner because this is our first corner and we're going to finish that when we come back to it, when we come around. So two large loops creates a corner. One, two, three, four, five, skipping two stitches, single crocheting, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skipping two, and single crocheting. Now we're gonna do a set of three. Now as you probably can see now, that the sets of three are, there are spacers to our large loops. So we're gonna do chain three, skip two, single crochet. Chain three, skip two, single crochet. Chain three, skip two, single crochet. So I have three loops and it's time for a large loop. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two and single crochet. And now on to three more small loops. So I have one, two, three, and a large loop. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping two and single crochet. That was our large loop, now three small loops. There's one, two, three, and here we go. We're gonna do one last, or two last large loops, but this is our last side one, because the last large loop is going to finish off this corner. So we have, I chained three, four, five, skipping two, 
that's our last side large loop. So we have our corners here and then we have our side loops. So I'm going to do three more small loops. And that's two and three. And you can see here, I now have two stitches left. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go ahead and single crochet right into that same stitch that we chained up from. So I'm still skipping two stitches. So that is our first row complete. I want to show you this sample here of, it's the same one that we're doing, but it actually has the second row complete and it's just a little bit easier to see our large loops and our small loops. So you can see here's a corner because we have a double loop and there's the other corner. It has a double loop. We have three large side loops on that side and three large side loops on this side. And each of the large loops, except for the corners here, are divided with the three small loops. Okay, and that goes all the way around. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you should have. So let's see, we have one, two corners, and we have one, two, three loops. One, two, three on that side. To begin row two, you're going to slip stitch into your first large loop and chain three. One, two, three. This chain three will count as your first double crochet. We're going to place 10 double crochet into each of the large loops. To double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the loop, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Now go ahead and place nine of those into this first loop. There's six for me, seven, eight, nine, two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. Next, go right from that double crochet into a single crochet. We're going to place a single crochet into this first small loop. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet into the second small loop. Chain three, one, two, three single crochet into the third small loop. Go right from that single crochet into a double crochet. Here's our next large loop. We're going to place 10 double crochet into this large loop. I have two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go from that from that double crochet into a single crochet. Single crocheting into that first chain three. Chain three. Single crochet into your second chain three. Chain three, single crochet into your third chain three. And here we are at a large loop again. Double crochet into that loop and continue like we just have. And I'm gonna meet you here at the corner. I'm all ready to do this corner here. Those two large loops stuck together. Go ahead and place 10 double crochet 
into each of the loops. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're going to go right from that double crochet into the next, the first double crochet of the second loop. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And that's what the corner looks like. You're going to go into a single crochet and then you can finish off this side just like we've been doing. And I will see you in just a minute. At the end of row two, slip stitch to your top of your chain three to complete the round. Now just to recap, we're going to just count off here. We have our first corner, our second corner, then we have the large uh, loops that are that have 10 double crochet in them. They're separated by two small loops, which are chain threes. So we have three on the side and three on this side. And that was our first double crochet row. To begin row three, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This will count as our first double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. We're gonna double crochet into each of these previous double crochets. So you should have 10. So just one double crochet into each stitch. And now we have those two small loops. So we're gonna double crochet, or sorry, we're gonna single crochet into this first one. Chain three, one, two, three. And single crochet into the second one. So you now have one small loop. Go right from that single crochet into a double crochet and double crochet into each of these 10 double crochet. You can continue like that all the way around. When you get to this corner, place 20 double crochet and then I will meet you back over here. At the end of round three, you're going to slip stitch to join. And I just wanted to show you that round three, the arches kind of like to curl over. So you can see them curling like that. Just pull them back out again. And you'll see as you go, it kind of everything fits into place. And it kind of pulls all this stuff out. Next, we're going to begin the last of the repeat rows. The double crochet, chain one, double crochet round. Chain three to begin, one, two, three. And we're gonna do four, chain four. Double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, and continue just like this. Double crochet, chain one, and you should have your 10 double crochet, of course, all separated by a chain one. I'm gonna continue this arch just like this. And then when you get to this last double crochet, you're not going to chain one and you're gonna skip over that chain three and go right to that double crochet into the next double crochet. 
So they're going to fit together like that. Then chain one and continue. So you're going to do, you're going to skip over all of your chain threes in this round. And of course, when you get to this corner right here, you're going to do 20 double crochet. And I will see you when you get back to this side. Now that our first four rows are complete, we get to start the repeat. Now this row is going to be row one again, so it's going to be your loopy row. And this is also where you're going to see your poncho growing. Each of these valleys is going to have a new arch in it. So we're going to have one, two, three, four new arches on just this side. To begin, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now skip this first chain space and single crochet into the next. Chain three for your first small loop. Skip a chain one and single crochet into the next. Do your next chain three. We have to do three of them, so there's number two. Skipping one chain space, single crocheting. And our last chain three. Skip a chain and single crochet into the next. Now here we are at the valley. You're going to skip this chain space, your valley, these two double crochet, this chain space, and we're going to double or single crochet into this one right here. So we have one, let's see, we're skipping one, two, three, four double crochet. So chain five, of course, because that's your large loop. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping. And that's what that looks like. Now we're going to do, so over each, over each of the arches, we're going to have three small chains. On the valleys, you're going to have your large chain. So three chain threes, one chain five. Three chain threes, one chain five. And continue that until you get to here, and I will see you when we get there. I've chained five for the valley right before the corner. What you're going to do is we're going to do three chain threes, two chain fives, and three chain threes. So to begin our first chain three, I'm skipping one of those chain one spaces. So there's one, two, three, Now two chain fives, one, two, three, four, five. Skipping a chain one space, single crocheting into the next space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skipping a space, single crocheting into the next space. And then your three chain threes down this side. And this is what that's looking like. When you get this side finished, I will see you when we get back here. At the end of row five, you're going to complete this corner by chaining five. And I just wanted to show you that there are two spaces. It looks like kind of like a large space to be just chaining over. But you're going to chain five. And you're going to single crochet. You're going to Skip that one just like we've been and single crochet into this space right next to that chain one or the chain, our beginning chain. Okay, so there are our first two. And now we get to begin row six, 
which is a repeat of row two. So it's gonna be repeating this row right here. We're gonna slip stitch into this first large loop and chain three. Double crochet nine into this first large loop. I have three, uh, your chain is gonna count as your first double crochet. So I have three double crochet, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 double crochet into each of your large loop spaces and a single crochet into this first chain three loop. There's two small chains in this round. So we're chaining three and single crocheting into our previous loops. So we have two small ch loop chains and here we are at our large loop. So we're gonna place 10 double crochet into this large loop. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Going right from that double crochet into a single crochet of that loop chaining three for my first small loop, chaining three for my second small loop, and I'm ready for 10 more double crochet. Continue that all the way around, and when you get to this corner, of course place 10 double crochet into each of your loops here. So you're gonna have 10 and 10, and then do all the way around this side you're gonna place 10 double crochet into your last loop here, and I will see you for the next round. Next is row seven. Row seven is going to be a repeat of round three. So it's this round right here. And you're gonna chain up three and double crochet into each of your previous double crochets. all the way around. Then when you get to your chain, your two chain three spaces here, you're going to single crochet into the first one, chain three, single crochet into the second one, and go right from that single crochet into the double crochet of your next arch here. We're gonna continue that all the way around. Of course, when you get to your corner over here, you're going to have 20 double crochet. And you can continue like that, and I will see you for the next round. Here we are with row seven finished. Row eight is going to be a repeat of row four. So those double crochet, chain one, is row eight as well. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Double crochet into your next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain one, and do that in each one of these 10 double crochet. When you get over here to the valley, or this chain three, you're gonna skip right over it. So no chaining, in between, so just two double crochet right next to each other, just like that. Chain one, 
and continue with the next arch. You're going to do this all the way around. When you get to your corner, you're going to double crochet the 20 double crochet, of course, separated each by a chain one. After row eight, you can begin row nine, which is a repeat of row five. It's going to be your loopy row again. You can just keep building in each one of these valleys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Have a lovely crochet day, and I will see you all next time. Bye!